Hello and assalamu alaikum. Today we have here Cambridge IGCSC paper 2 to February March 2021. Total time for which is 45 minutes and total marks 40. So let's start. Which row about a change of state is correct? The change of state is given in this column solid to liquid. This is as we know melting. So this is the process name is correct. The energy change is certain heat given out. No, that is not correct. Heat is taken in to break the bonds between the solid molecules, the forces of attraction. Next, gas to liquid. This is evaporation, yes, but heat is given out because gas molecules are further apart. And for the molecules to come closer and the compound or the substance to become a liquid, they need to lose their energy to come close together. Next, solid to gas, heat taken in, yes. Sublimation, yes. Sublimation is the direct conversion of solid to gases. And because solid particles are very close, in order for them to move apart and to break these forces between, in between, they get in heat. They absorb heat. Next, Gases are separated from liquid air by fractional distillation. Okay. The boiling points of four gases are shown, which gas is both monoatomic and a liquid at minus 200 degrees Celsius. So monoatomic gases are only the noble gases. So no helium, oh, sorry, no nitrogen. And a liquid at minus 200 degrees Celsius. Okay. So argon has a boiling point of minus 186. This basically means that after minus 186, minus 100 or minus 90, it is what? A gas. So below minus 186, below minus 186, it was a liquid. So this seems to be correct. Argon is a noble gas, so this is the correct answer. As for helium, helium is uh, is a gas at minus two sixty nine. So anything below minus two sixty nine, or high, uh, so anything higher than minus two sixty nine, and minus two hundred is higher than minus two sixty nine. Anything higher than this is a gas, and same as for neon. So the boiling point of this gas which they are asking us should be below minus 200. Next two different food colorings X and Y are tested using chromatography. Three pure dyes 1, 2 and 3 are also tested. The chromatogram is shown which statements are correct. So 1, 2 and 3 are pure and 3 is present in X and Y and 2 is also present in X and Y. Okay, so X and Y both contain X and Y both contain two or more dyes. So this is correct because X contains one, two, and three, and Y contains one and two. Next, dyes two and three are present in both X and Y. This is not true. This is not true because or yes, dye 2 is present in X and Y and dye 3 is present in X and Y both. Dye 1 is not present and they are telling us about dye 2 and 3. So yes, this is also correct. 1 and 2 are correct. The RF of dye 1 is 0 0.625. So the RF value is the distance travelled by the solute upon the distance travelled by the solvent. So dye 1 travelled 5 over 8 which is 0 0.625 so this is also correct 1, 2 and 3 which statement about the atoms of all the isotopes of carbon is correct they are all radioactive no they are all not radioactive we don't have any evidence to suggest this they have the same mass no isotopes have different masses we have a carbon 13 as well they have the same number of neutrons. 
this is the difference in isotopes isotopes are atoms having different number of neutrons thus the different mass but same number of electrons or protons so they have the same number of electrons in the outer shell correct which diagram represents the structure of silicon oxide so this is for graphite incorrect this is for diamond and this is for uh, ionic compounds giant ionic lattice either a or d how to differentiate between a and d because d shows clearly that these are two different substances bonded tetrahedrally to each other while over here only this is the same thing repeating again and again and this is carbon as we know so this is diamond this is graphite in which layers are present and this is silicon oxide lithium and fluorine react to form lithium fluoride a student writes three statements about the reaction so lithium is in group 1 so it will have a charge of plus 1 fluorine is in group 7 it will have a charge of minus 1 so the formula will be lif in which each each lithium gives out one electron and each fluorine gains one electron lithium atoms lose an electron when they react correct because cations lose electrons each fluoride ion has one more electron than a fluorine atom this is also correct because each fluoride ion has gained why did it become an ion because it gained one electron lithium fluoride is a mixture of elements not at all lithium fluoride is a compound of two different elements so one and two are correct only so option a how many electrons are used to form covalent bonds in a molecule of methanol so if you draw out the structure c h 3 o and h so we have all single bonds so 1 2 1 2 2 4 6 8 and 10 so 10 electrons are used option d is correct magnesium oxide has a high melting point carbon dioxide has a low melting point which row identifies the attractive forces that are broken when these compounds are melted? Magnesium oxide has strong attractions between ions. Yes, because it is an ionic compound, so positive and negative ions are present. Carbon dioxide, weak attractions between atoms, weak attractions between molecules, weak attractions between atoms, basically two options only. So either molecule or either atom. So we know carbon dioxide. This is not uh, an element, this is a compound. So different molecules are present. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide molecules. CO2, CO2. So this is molecules. The ionic half equation for the formation of oxygen during the electrolysis of aluminum oxide is shown. What are the values of X and Y? So we just need to balance this. This was 2 minus, so it should give us two electrons and but before this we need to see that there are two oxygens on the right hand side so there should be two oxygens on the left side so this should be two now this will make uh, this will give us four electrons because because one o2 minus gave us two electrons two o2 minus will give us four electrons so this should be down then four so two and four d Question 10. A compound has a formula XF2 and has a relative mass of 70. What is element X? So we just do a trial and error method. We put the mass of gallium in place of X and add the atomic masses and we should have 70. So we will check with what do we have, what do we get 70. So let me do directly sulfur because other three I will have to look in the periodic table sulfur I remember 32 is a MR AR plus fluorine what's fluorine now so fluorine is if you look at the periodic table fluorine is 19 I still had to look so fluorine is 19 plus 19 and two fluorines are present so 19 times 2 
open the calculator 32 plus 19 times 2 which is 70 so sulfur option C is correct it's just the same thing if you do in the order first A B and C just have to put the mass of the respective element the diagram shows a section of an overhead power cable which statement explains why a particular substance is used in an overhead but in an overhead cable okay so aluminum has a low density it's true and is a good conductor of electricity yes that is why it's used ceramic is a good conductor ceramic is not a good con con conductor steel can rust steel can rust in damp air but this is not the reason why it's used steel is more dense than aluminum again not the reason of its use during the electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid hydrogen is collected at the cathode what is the ionic half equation for this reaction hydrogen is being collected so h plus ions will give us h2 plus electrons and because of this two we have two h pluses and two electrons so the correct equation is this d but oh no 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 this is the equation for the anions not the cations so hydrogen should gain electrons hydrogen became an ion because it donated one electron at first now it's becoming an element again so it should get that electron back plus that electron will give us hydrogen gas now two here and two here because of this so option c 13 which row describes an endothermic reaction so the endotherm this is for exothermic and this is also for exothermic option b or d energy is transferred from the surroundings to the reaction this is correct because energy is absorbed in an endothermic reaction the equation for the complete combustion of methane is shown the bond energies are shown what is the energy change for the reaction okay so the energy change is energy absorbed minus energy released so energy absorbed is enthalpy changes energy absorbed first let us draw the bonds ch4 plus 2o2 and on that side we have c double bond o c double bond o plus o h h and a 2 on the other side so now let's do the calculation c h 410 there should be 4 410 plus 2 o double bond o 496 minus carbon oxygen double bond which is 805 and we have two of them two of those two times 805 plus h oh bonds we have two oh bonds two times 460 and a further multiply by two because already a two was there due to the balancing so if you minus these the answer you get is four times four hundred and ten plus two two times four ninety six minus two times eight zero five plus two or we'll just write basically four this is four two twos are four four times four sixty which is minus eight hundred and eighteen option A. Hydrogen fuel cells can be used to power cars which statement about a fuel cell are correct the balance equation for the reaction is the reaction is H2 plus O2 and producing H2O. Okay so the problem is it's not balanced it's not balanced this there are two oxygens and there is only one oxygen on this side the fuel cell generates electricity of course 
what other purpose does it serve this is correct in the fuel cell hydrogen is reduced in the fuel cell hydrogen is reduced let's see this equation is given even if it's not balanced we can check the oxidation state hydrogen is zero over here but over here it is plus one because of minus two oxygen so uh, and how did I get this basically we know oxygen is minus two and this entire should be zero so there are two hydrogens so 2H plus minus 2 equals to 0 and 2H equals to 2 H equals to 1 positive so it is not reduced rather it is oxidized the reactants are gases at room temperature both hydrogen and oxygen are gases so 2 and 4 are correct which means option C next question the apparatus shown is used to measure the rate of a reaction which equation represents a reaction when the rate can be measured using this apparatus okay so a gas syringe is present which means that the volume of gas produced is being measured so gas should be there in the products so no gas over here no gas over here no gas over here only option a can be correct P is a hydrated metal salt with a blue color so this should be copper sulfate because this is the test for water and copper compounds are blue when hydrated when P is heated water is given off leaving solid Q okay so R is a hydrated metal salt with a pink color when R is heated water is given off leaving solid S okay so we have we study copper sulfate and cobalt to chloride what happens is when we add water it goes from blue to pink and copper sulfate goes from colorless to blue so they're asking about the name of P and the color of S so color of S should be blue of course because we just decided it is blue and after the addition of water it is pink so if water is removed by heating it should be blue so solid s is blue and option b and d are incorrect now name of p p was hydrated with blue color so this should be copper sulfate option c is correct next question magnesium reacts with copper oxide to give magnesium oxide and copper which substance is oxidizing agent in this reaction so the equation will be magnesium plus copper oxide to give magnesium oxide plus copper so the oxidizing agent which means that the person or the element the compound the substance which is being reduced itself reduced so as we can see copper is being reduced as copper had an oxygen atom on this side it has an oxygen atom but there the oxygen is removed so it is reduced and magnesium has been oxidized so we need the oxidizing agent meaning the per the substance which has been reduced itself so it should be copper oxide because copper oxide was a substance providing the oxygen part of the periodic table is shown which element forms in acidic oxide so acidic oxides are formed by non-metals this is group 8 they do not react so B is the correct answer A and C both are metals so incorrect when aqueous sodium hydroxide is added to a solution of a metal ion a grey green precipitate forms which dissolves in excess to form a dark green solution this is simply recall which you will find in your syllabus notes for qualitative analysis and this is the answer is chromium when it is added sodium hydroxide is added the cation chromium causes a gray green precipitate to form which dissolves in excess to form a dark green solution which statement about strong acids are correct they have a higher concentration of OH minus ions this is true for bases not for acids bases have H plus they have a pH value of 1 this can be correct this is correct 0 uh, 1 2 pH is of a strong acid they completely ionize in water yes they ionize completely in water that is why they are strong 
and weak acids partially ionize they turn red litmus blue this is also true for bases not acids so option c statement 2 and 3 correct metal x reacts with non metal y to form an ionic compound with the formula x2y so this means that x had a charge of plus 1 and y had a charge of 2 minus then the cross multiplication happened and this was the result so y is in group 6 group 6 because it had a charge of 2 minus just like oxygen and x is in group 1 so x is in group 1 of the periodic table yes x is in group 2 not correct y is in group 6 of the periodic table yes y is in group 7 no so 1 and 3 are correct option a 23 the table gives some properties of group 6 group 4 elements which row describes the properties of silicon so silicon should be uh, having the highest melting point in all of these substances because it has a giant molecular structure but this is oh sorry that is for silicon oxide this is silicon so carbon had a density of 2.2 so silicon should be having a density as we see the trend we just have to look at the trend nothing else the trend is that the boiling point is decreasing and the density is increasing density increase boiling point decrease so the boiling point of silicon should be lesser than carbon and the density should be higher than carbon but lower than germanium and this should be higher than germanium so 2.3 is more than 2.2 and less than 5.3 yes okay but you would argue that this is true for 3.1 as well but the thing is in 3.1 option b the boiling point is too less this is even lesser than tin and germanium so it then the trend would be disturbed we don't have to disturb the trend so option a is correct the metal beryllium does not react with cold water it reacts with hcl but cannot be extracted from its ore by using carbon where is beryllium placed in the reactivity series so you should be remembering this how the metals are separated from their ores according to the reactivities it does not react with cold water means it is definitely below magnesium and it reacts with hydrochloric acid which means it should be above iron and copper or at least copper but cannot be extracted from its ore by using carbon so iron can be extracted from its ore by using carbon and so the option above iron is as well so option a is correct because it can it is more reactive than zinc etc why is creolite used in the extraction of aluminum from bauxite as a catalyst for the process no as a solvent yes as a solvent yes it is a solvent and it reduces the boiling point it reduce it stops the carbon anodes in burning burning away no it reduces aluminum ions in aluminum oxide that is not creolite it is as a solvent for aluminum oxide so moving on which statements about the uses of metals are correct iron is used to make aircraft because iron has a low density iron does not have a low density this is not true this is true for aluminum however copper is used to make electric cables because copper is a good conductor of electricity yes true copper is used for electric cables and copper is a good conductor of electricity being a metal aluminum is used to make brass because aluminum is strong and hard no brass is strong and hard iron is mixed with additives to make an alloy used in chemical plant this is the definition of alloy in which a metal is mixed with any other substance so 2 was correct and 4 is correct so option D next which row describes the reactions of magnesium hydroxide and magnesium oxide so effect of heat on the hydroxide what will happen is it will form magnesium oxide and when we heat the oxide with carbon there will be no reaction because metal uh, the metals which are higher up above in the reactivity series they do not decompose or they are not reduced with carbon their oxides are not reduced with carbon 
However, we know that magnesium hydroxide is formed when magnesium reacts with water. Uh, and in one variation, when it reacts with water, hydroxide is formed uh, and one oxide is formed. So, the hydroxide is converted when the water is lost. Uh, it decomposes into MgO, which is the simplest ore, the main ore of magnesium. So, P is the correct answer. The properties of an element are listed. Its melting point is 3, 4, 14. Some of its compounds are catalysts. It has variable oxidation state, obviously. High melting point, variable oxidation states uh, can act as catalysts. This is transition elements. Petrol bur burns in a car engine to pro produce waste gases which leave through the car exhaust. One of these waste gases is an oxide of nitrogen, which describes how this oxide is formed. Okay. So the nitrogen oxide, this is self-explanatory. It's obvious that nitrogen should be reacting with oxygen to form the nitrogen oxide. So nitrogen reacts with oxygen in the car engine and it reacts because of the very high temperature in the engine. And this reaction takes place by the way in the engine not in the catalytic converter catalytic converter reduces the nitrogen oxide so that it is transformed into nitrogen itself carbon dioxide does not react with nitrogen in the catalytic converter uh, even if it does it's not the result of the formation of carbon dioxide it does not basically react with nitrogen it reacts with the oxide of nitrogen to form nitrogen again which combination of chemical compounds can be used to produce the fertilizer shown. So we have nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. These are the three main, um, main fertilizers, main elements which are used in the fertilizers. So we have to choose substances which have all three of them. So in A we have nitrogen, we have phosphorus, we have potassium. This seems to be the correct answer. We do not have potassium. We do not have potassium, we do not have phosphorus, so not correct. Which process does not produce carbon dioxide? Combustion of a hydrocarbon, any hydrocarbon or any organic compound, when it reacts with carbon dioxide, it forms, uh, sorry, when it is combusted, it forms carbon dioxide and water, so this is not correct. Uh, photosynthesis is a process which is the reverse of respiration, so respiration if we reverse it and we write the equation of photosynthesis, it is C, uh, CO2, 6CO2 plus 6H2O, which will produce C6H12O6 plus 6O2. So, oxygen is formed, glucose is formed, and carbon dioxide is a reactant, so photosynthesis is correct. Acid and metal carbonate, when acid reacts with the metal carbonate, all ways carbon dioxide is released in respiration if we reverse this carbon dioxide will come on the react on the product side so it is a product in respiration option b is correct which substance is used as a bleach in the manufacture of paper obviously sulfur dioxide this is pure recall a fact what is an industrial use of calcium carbonate it is uh, limestone basically cal calcium carbonate so it is used in the cement industry this is also recall you know you have to know the uses of limestone propane reacts with chlorine okay which row shows a condition required for this reaction and identifies the type of reaction so this is a reaction of substitution reaction of alkane with a halogen with chlorine so we need uv light and this is a substitution reaction not an addition reaction. no double bond is present and broken phosphoric acid is not needed over here Phosphoric acid is needed. The reaction in which steam is added to ethene or alkene to form an alcohol. The pie chart represents the composition of natural gas. Which sector represents methane? Which sector represents methane? So, there are different portions given. And methane is the most abundant gas. So option D is correct because the most abundance is given in D.
which statement describes the reaction between ethene and steam uh, we already decided that it is an addition reaction the steam is added to ethene so not a cracking reaction not an oxidation reaction it is a addition reaction and ethanol is the only product because an addition reaction is the reaction in which no additional product is formed the formula of a hydrocarbon is this the equation is shown what are the values of x and y so we just put these values in which are given in the option and check whether they fit in or not so if this is c5 and h6 c5 h6 plus 8 o2 will give us 5 co2 plus 6 h2 now if this is c5 does this fit in as for carbon it does for hydrogen we have six hydrogens on the left side but we have 12 hydrogens on the right side this is 12 six twos are 12 so this is not correct if we fit in 5 and 12 then it apparently looks here uh, hydrogens are 12 carbons are 5 so 5 carbons and 12 hydrogens formula of an ester is this which acid and alcohol react together to make the ester so what you need to be remembering is that this is the point where we separate the acid and the alcohol so if we draw this out this is the structure which is formed now the double bond where the double bond is present that is the acid so this is the acid one two three four carbon so four carbon containing acid is butanoic acid and this contains on the right side one two three alcohol uh, three carbons so propanol this is the du double bond is the key over here so b is correct 39 molecule 1 undergoes a process to make molecule 2 which row describes the molecules and the process if it's a monomer the process is crack cracking no the cr process should be polymerization if it's a monomer the reaction is polymerization and the molecule 2 that is formed is a polymer nothing wrong with this as for this small molecule it won't go polymerization or even if it does after polymerization how does it become a monomer and if a small molecule does undergo cracking it does not become a monomer we do not have a reaction of this sort when yeah so which structure represents a pr protein so in a protein you need to have a functional group of an acid on the one side and of nitrogen amine basically on one side and there should be a bonding like this continuing on forever so there should be only one single monomer with two different functional groups amino acid remember so this would be as for this it looks correct there is no problem the functional groups are present the correct amide linkage is shown so this is correct if you look at the other options this is containing an acid on both sides oh sorry this is a diol on this side and this is a acid on this side and this also contains an acid on this side so the two different monomers dicarboxylic acid and diol so not correct this is again a diol not correct this till here is correct but the second repeat unit is not shown correctly because over here we have or uh, even this is not correct because on one single chain we should have one carbon or one acid group and one amine group there is no amine group shown there this is a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine so not protein so the option a is correct so we have completed the paper thank you jazakallah khair